Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is the SPY Review. My name is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh, and I thought I would do a review here of the market. I haven't traded for the last few days. It was the holiday, and today is Sunday. So get back to business here tomorrow, first day of third quarter earnings season, which will be a, a great time to trade the strategy that I trade, which is gaps. Let's take a look here at the market. I don't remember what day it was. It was either Monday or Tuesday or both. That uh, well, this was last week. When yeah, it was right in here, and I said the market's gonna go higher and trade higher and have a nice five-day rally on a holiday week, <laughs> and that's exactly what the market did. I mean, I called it perfectly. It's exactly what the market did. I said 200 was the next number for the spy, and it's it's almost there. 198.29 uh, was the close of business on Thursday. Market was closed Friday. And uh, so it's very likely that we get to that number sooner rather than later. The way that we got tomorrow will have meaning because I don't know if we're going to go immediately right to the 200 number or if we're going to have a rest day in between there or a possible little red day in between there before we hit the number. Or we just go and we rally this coming week up right up to the number. And I really think the market starts to take off, you know, after that. I've you know, here every once in a while people talk because I talk to people about trading very often and obviously I teach the gap class. And it's so funny, everybody talks like the market needs a correction, it's due for a correction, we should be having a correction, we're going to have a correction. That, I just don't espouse to that philosophy whatsoever. It's completely false. The market does not need to do anything. It does not need to have a correction. It does not need to go higher. It does not need to come in. The only thing it needs to do is move because it will move because there's money that flows in and out of the market on any given day and any given stock every day that the market's open. Okay, But the market doesn't need to do anything. So the market does not need to do a correction and we are not due for a correction. The market is barely just beginning. And actually, you know, I've been thinking about this for my own trading personally because some of these opportunities that I've seen in here that I know that I can see where it is a new place to take a position it's really for what is a long-term trade and the market has barely just begun to get going in fact if I would look at this market for 2014 you can see that the market has just started to get the lift towards the end of May so this market is not due for a correction now, that doesn't mean that we're not going to have a pull-in somewhere in here, a little couple of red days, or who knows. But it's not going to come in anywhere what people would define as a correction because it's just not necessary, and it's just not needed. And it's similar to the way that people talk about tops and bottoms and all kinds of things. It isn't anything that makes any sense and doesn't have to happen because it just doesn't. So the market is going to continue higher here. I've made a great call on this market, and even when I was off for the few couple days last week, and... People were texting me and emailing me about the fact the market was doing exactly what I said. Even I was very happy because I'm seeing things extremely clearly and I just got to stay in the same path I'm doing to keep continuing to see it. And it is based on the fact that I know how to reprice very well. And how did I get to the point where I discovered how to reprice so well? It's because of the way that I read gaps. It all really comes down to that. I don't think people realize how powerful how powerful gaps are in the market ETFs and in stocks, but they are extremely powerful. If you learn how to trade gaps and process gaps and rate gaps and read gaps, you will become better at reading price action. No question about it because I'm living proof of that. It also helps you determine the trend in the chart. So the market is higher and we'll have to see where we open and gap tomorrow morning on Monday, July 7th to see how we trade out this week, meaning if we're going to shoot right up to that next target. But we're definitely going to get there. It's going to happen this month in the month of July. And it's going to be a very bullish rest of the year. I mean, I've been predicting it all year. I, I was saying this back in January. I was saying this in here, and I was saying it 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 in here, and here, and here, and here, and here. And I've been saying it. Market is going to have a very bullish year, the rest of 2014. And people are going to miss it if they don't buy People will miss it, and what's going to happen is it will push itself to some crazy number because by the time people realize, oh my gosh, I should be long, it's going to be way after the rally has convinced people that it's definitively higher and not going to do a correction of any significance that people will buy and continue to push it higher. So really beautiful chart here in the SPY. Uh, is going to see the next target of 200 within a dollar 75 ish 
And I don't know if that's going to be this week or not until I get up tomorrow morning and read real life time of how we're gapping because that's how I figure all this stuff out. But I saw last week, like Monday and Tuesday, that the market was going to do a five day rally in a holiday week on low volume. That's what it did. And this is extreme bullishness. I must also point this out too. The fact that the market did what it did last week on low volume on a holiday week is a huge, massive sign of bullishness. Okay. So next target is 200 for the SPY. If you are not in the market long and you want to be long something or you're in a good, solid, strong core long, follow it through. Nothing but blue skies ahead for this market here. It shakes off every piece of bad news that ever comes up. And it's just going to keep going higher here the rest of the year. And we'll see where we go. The only thing I know right now that I can tell you the next number is 200. I have to see how we trade this week to, to pinpoint the next targets or how we trade Monday through Friday this coming week. But it should be a really nice earnings season here. Uh, people are going to dump stocks that don't perform in this bullish month here with this market continuing higher. They will just dump things and sell out of things that are pieces of crap. And so it's going to make for some nice shorts the downside if you know what to watch, what to look for, which I do. And if you know how to pick out uh, bullish gaps, then it's going to be a great month to go long. So this is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. The next Golden Gap class is this coming weekend, July 12th and 13th. If you want to learn how to trade to make money during earnings season, which is third quarter, July and August, it's a great time to trade my strategy. Not everybody trades in the summer, but it is a perfect time to make money doing gaps in the earnings season period. Then email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you want to sign up. Cost of the class is $29.99, and I do have people already signed up. If you want to make sure to get your spot in, email me early on this week, and uh, feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions about the market. Really, really, really on the right track here with my current trading, my future trading, and everything else. I've read this market absolutely beautifully. And uh, just going to keep on keeping on. Really, really happy how clear I'm seeing things here. And you got to keep your mind open. You got to take in the information. You got to read things in real life time, which I have a high skill level of doing. And that's how I'm figuring this stuff out. But the amazing thing is, when I see something in live time, it tells me what the future point is. And, you know, like I saw a couple of months ago, back in March, that the market was going to do this. And that is, you know, actually was three, four months ago considering the fact it's July. So it's it's phenomenal how incredible it is once you get this stuff down. I mean, it's magical, actually. It's absolutely perfect. So email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you'd like more information. You want to learn how to trade and make money in the market. Thanks, everybody. Have a great weekend.